Hello everyone and welcome to I, The Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. I've been looking forward to this one, the sequel obviously to the original I, The Somnium Files, which we played not too long ago, a little bit ago, but uh, not anywhere near when it launched. And uh, yeah, it was great, had a really good time, fantastic mystery, really intriguing story. And uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this new one. It is slightly later than, uh, than planned. Don't know if you were aware, but uh, if you were wondering, it was delayed only in Europe. Everywhere else, fine. Delayed only in Europe. And then the date it was delayed to, I was already planned to be away from home then. So yeah, it's a little bit late, but uh, finally, I'm ready. I've avoided all spoilers. Let's jump in. Uh, play in English. Oh, that's cool. You get the text changing around the edge of the around the sides of the screen. That's nice. Uh, start the game with this text language. This cannot be changed later. Yes. Although, why can't it be changed later? You can normally change stuff later, can't you? Uh, select difficulty. Uh, investigation and Somnium. Right, yeah. Standard, standard is fine for both of those. Yes. Okay. This game features autosave. I am sure glad to hear that. I do love a good autosave. What is this game going to throw at us? It's a work of fiction? No way! I thought it was historical record. The first one just was absolutely crazy. So many twists and turns. Just amazing. So I hope this one can live up to that. Very excited. Let's go. Let's go. 2.10. A Strange Tale. Converge Chapter Zero. All right. What is this? A Marby TV. Hello, boss. Hello, someone. Where am I? Ryuki. Someone with a different colored eye. Ryuki wasn't in the first game, right? <laughs> Trying to think, is this someone I've forgotten or... No, I think he's new, right? He's not ringing any bells. Obviously, boss is. You okay, Ryuki? All right, let's keep going. Next question. We're on, a, we're on a game show? In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? Mm, not sure. Would you like to view the tutorial? Sure. People and objects, inspection, progress story, yep. Uh, move the cursor and camera. Look around you, set the card side. Okay, so it's the same as, same as before then. A monitor. Hello, who are you? <laughs> you feeling all right there, Mr. Ryuki? I'm all right. Why'd you look like that? Look like what? All blue and shit. Uh, can I hear the question again? Ah, how about this? I'll repeat the question for you, okay? In India, that in okay. Now remember, the other teams can press their buttons too if they know the answer. It's that button right on top of your Okay, table. I just need to press that then to continue, I guess. Yeah. It would appear that I'm on a quiz show as one of the contestants. Person asking questions must be the host, but why is he all blue? Maybe he's feeling down. <laughs> Monitor. Camera. Door. Okay. Just uh, all your basic stuff. Let me guess, this is going to say it's a table. Yep. Crazy. What was that? Ah, uh, this. A uh, stepladder. All right, boss. You got anything to say? Where am I? What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? Okay, so boss does know what she's about. So this isn't. This is just Ryuki being thrown into something. Hmm. What am I doing here? Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Push it, and you get to answer the question. Well, uh, let's not ask that. <laughs> Boss. All right. Slam it. That's the answer button for the quiz. Hello, Tama. Tama or Tama? Why don't you press it? Tama. Tama. You mean this button? Yeah. You better hurry, or the other teams are going to answer before you. Slam. Nice. Good. Good thunk. There we go. Team Popo was the quickest. Team hey, Popo. Your answer is. Why are we called Popo? Uh, 
Uh, place your cursor on the host to try answering the question. Uh, right, it's not a centaur. <laughs> Date, reference to the first game. Uh, so it's a satyr or a gandhava? 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 Do you pronounce the H or not? Uh, isn't satyr like a demon? I don't know if they're half god, half beast. Isn't that, isn't satyr like satan kind of thing? So I guess process of elimination, Gandhava? That is nice. correct. The answer is Gandharva. Team Popo gets 10 points for the correct answer. We'd love to see it. Good job, Ryuki. Keep it up. Will do. What is that face, boss? What, what is what is that face? I, I don't like it. Put it away. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Sure am. Uh, what? I guess Ryuki isn't. No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. This question is for the person on the other side. Oh? Who was Talking that? Talking to me directly? Why ask about that? Hurry now, your answer, please. This show. This is the Faith to Face special, a six hour quiz show live stream marathon. Have you forgotten? Apparently, yeah. Hey, boss. Uh, what a strange quiz. You think so? Seems like a normal quiz to me. I thought I heard a voice just now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so this is, this is normal for her. Interesting. The new Cyclops serial killings? The questions in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Ryuki. They're for you. On the other side. Alright, very, very fourth wall breaky. I don't understand what you're saying. Well, yeah, we played the first game. Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do... I want you to take this question very seriously. Okay. The new Cyclops serial killings, the incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Are you or are you not familiar with it? This will determine if we can dig into the details of that incident in the coming six days. Ah, okay. So it will just be like, Hmm. If it's... I wonder if it's important enough... Hmm. I wonder how that changes things. Whether you say yes or no. In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. Is that Iba? Could be. It's been a while. I don't remember exactly what her voice sounds like. But don't worry. And then I guess this would be Date if that is Iba? It won't affect how you progress. This game. The Cyclops serial killings and what you're about to experience, they have nothing to do with each other. Promise. So please, just tell me honestly. Are you familiar with hmm. the new Cyclops serial killing? Yep, I am. Who oh, are you sure? I'm sure. You're lying now. Let's give you a simple test just to make sure. Oh, God. The one who resolved the new Cyclops serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. Indeed. On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Who was oh, that fuck someone? Me. No need to give me their last name. First name only, please. Oh god, it's not even multiple choice? Fuck, who was it? <laughs> it's been a bit. Uh. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, was it Mizuki? This, that's that's interesting. They like because you'd have you'd have thought they'd just give you a yes or no and then accept your answer, but they're like properly like no. If you haven't played it, we're gonna fucking test you and we're gonna make sure you're not picking this if you if you haven't. Like they really are hiding the spoilers, not just taking you at your word. Oh, not bad. You're correct. Fuck yeah. But you could have just gotten lucky. How about we go for one more round? 
Who is the true culprit of the new Cyclops Saito. serial killings? Answer with just the first name again, please. Let's have it. Saito Sejima. Easy one. That first one was difficult, though. Who got shot in the leg? Like, that's not something you necessarily remember, because it's not like a major point. Wonderful! That's another right answer! Ding ding! Sorry for doubting you. Yeah, you fucking should be. You really do know about the new Cyclops killings. Oh! Did you hear that sound? I did. That means the next question will be the last. Alright. Are you ready? Sure am. Ba -ba. A precognitive dream is a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams, are they real? Uh oh, <laughs> what's happening? Truly real. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> this is this is so good. This is already just like weird as shit, and I love it. Uh, I can't move around or anything. Okay, strange. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what can't be? What is occurring? What's wrong? Are you okay? Uh. Are you okay? No. Oh my God, boss! What the fuck is happening? What's going on? Very strange. <laughs> okay. Don't know what I was expecting to open this game with, but, uh, yep. That wasn't it. <laughs> we out here playing that good football. Hello! You've grown up a bit. She was so good in the first game. She was probably my favourite character in the first game. Love her. Is that someone cut in half? Be like... careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. Three o'clock. Distance of 315 feet. In the middle row of seats. Uh-oh. Oh! Fuck you. Oh, she's such a badass. Lap time display. During the story, with the power of Iber, you can gain special information. Right now, you can use zoom and night vision. Select Zoom NV to inspect the enemy in the audience seat. It's a device that records the lap times for runners. It can display time in increments of one one thousandth of a second. Pretty good. Focus. We've got more important things to deal with. Oh, listen to the wub wubs. Drop the beat. Love a good wub wub. You're the one who inspected it. <laughs> Would have been stranger if they announced their intentions first. True. Who's the target? Where are they? It's too dark and they're too far away. Calm down, Mizuki. You can use my functions. Functions? Remember your training? Oh, right. Uh, is it like no matter where I click on the audience seat, it's gonna night vision them? Because I don't know exactly where they are. Iba, zoom in. Night vision mode. Roger that. Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Use the x-ray next. Understood. Howdy! Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. 
judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Yeah, that must be it, man. You got it. Nailed it in one. Why else would another girl target me? You can't think of any other reason? Drop the beat! <laughs> oh, it's good. I'm loving this music. Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? That's why other girls don't like me much. I'm fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Savage? Mizuki, load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able How about to we load it with hollow points? How about that? It near them. Got it. Evolver looking pretty different. Okay, it's ready. I will display the aiming reticle. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it. Oh! Get fucked on. What's with this girl? Jesus! Did you load that thing up with a nuke? <laughs> Where did she go now? Detecting the target's footsteps. They seem to be heading toward the stadium exit. Ugh. Can't let them get away! Mizuki, wait. Even you won't be able to catch up to them. More importantly... More importantly, we got a fucking buddy on the field. There's Hi. something there. Yes. Hey, that's... You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... It's... A... Shot mannequin looking fucking motherfucker. His name is Jin Furoe. Okay. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, at Studio Divita. The right half of his body. Okay, six years ago, all right. Whenever you're ready, game. Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Oh, we're going back to this. Okay. What the fuck? What? Hi. What? Who's the Who's the host? I'm looking at all these people. I'm like, okay, I recognize everyone. Now. Wait, what? <laughs> Fucking massive square head over there. Where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> Mr. Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the straight and corneum off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> hey, Ryuki. Are you sure you're all right? No. Oh, um, yeah. No! Why? Why would you pretend? All right. Now that Mr. <laughs> what Ryuki the fuck is, is with his face? Let's get back to it, shall we? Here we go. Next question. But um, which Taoist symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, yin yang? Represents the origin of all things. Uh. What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Yeah, I'm on it! Okay. What? Fray to free. And that's the left half. Right, I, you know what? I completely blanked on the fact that it was saying this is what happened six years ago. In my head, we just went back to seeing what this new dude was doing. But no, it did say six years ago. So 
she was on this weird game show six years ago. I don't know what what's the time jump. I guess the time jump must be like six years because like she already knew Iris at that point because they were sat together. So, and they didn't know each other. Wait, did they know each other before the game? Before the first game? I'm not entirely sure actually. Can't remember if they already knew each other. But either way, I'm getting, maybe that happened like shortly after the first game. And then this is now six years later. Hmm. Empty seats. Uh, who are you, detective? You're... What? You really don't know? I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. Of course you are. Introduce myself. I don't even have to ask about you. You're Mizuki Okira, 18 years old. A high schooler attending Sakiba High. The all-girls school, right? Ah, but Okira is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I... Remember correctly. Hells yeah, dude. You were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. I wonder if I scanned that QR code whether I'd get anything. I'm not gonna, but... Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent, Oedipus. That boss lady got her claws in you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. Hey, this little girl's sick as fuck. Huh. <sighs> Guess they'll take anyone they can get. Time sure have changed. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra legal measures. Uh, know anything? I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? You were also at the studio six years ago <laughs> when the True. other half was found. Maybe that doesn't look so good. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said, HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half-body serial killings. I need to know more about that case. Changed my life. Forever. It did? So that's why I came. Iba's trivia. Regarding Mizuki's smartphone, if it gets reception, I wish this scrolled a little faster, if it gets reception, I can connect to any network. I can make calls and send and receive messages. Oh wait, I can speed it up. I haven't found oh fuck, yet. wait, no. I saw the I saw the thing in the top right hand corner and it looked like pressing right on the D-pad would speed it up, but I was already clicking on a dude. Mizuki says, I don't want you to know about my private life. If I leave my eyes closed, you won't be able to see it, right? Right, Iba? Uh, I haven't found anything oh, yet. There is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. Which is why she still carries her smartphone around. You didn't notice? Look at the field. You'll see what I mean. Uh, any leads? He said to check the field. All right, that was what I just accidentally clicked. Uh, about the Nile message. Who sent the message? I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? And why did she try to kill you? Okay. Uh, right. Uh, trivia and additional info will be displayed at the top. It's just a bonus feature, so you don't need to read it. Cool, cool. Love that. It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. Right, but there's no imprints. However, there aren't any footprints. Indeed. Then how did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky, or rose up from the ground, or... Just fucking appeared? They teleported here. Teleported? I was joking. 
Do not take it seriously. I feel like we should take it seriously. I feel like that's plausible. I don't know. With with what you could do in the first game with like mind hopping between bodies and shit, like pretty much anything could be possible. There isn't a trace of any disturbance, so how did the body get here? How you doing, boss? Why are you here? You do know I'm the commander of Abyss. Right? Yeah, I was aware, yeah. Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Devita. And the HP case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB case, she is referring to the half-body serial killings. So named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. So I assume there are a bunch more half-body serial killings? Because it said, it called them a serial killer, so. Regarding terror, tear has two meanings. Tear, as in tears when you can when you cry. The other tear means to rip something in half. No shit. Well, not necessarily in half, but still. The culprit of the HB case is more a reference to the latter. No shit. Does this really need to be in Ivor's trivia? By adding an er at the end of tear, tear, we get terror. What a useless bit of trivia, Ivor. Literally everyone knows that. Um, yeah, so this must have happened a bunch, but is this the first time that we're getting the other half of the body, perhaps? Uh, will you let me investigate this case? Of course not. Aww. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sekiba High. I mean, if we're 18 now, then we're old enough to get a job. Like, the previous game, she was... Uh, actually, yeah, she's, it was six years ago. I'm pretty sure she was 12 in the previous game, so I guess that must have taken place right after. So, yeah, you know, I'm old enough to work now. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. And she's smart as fuck. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a sinker. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. Yeah, a little bit, probably. But you're basically still an intern. Fuck you. <laughs> You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. I want to be on this case, no matter what. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. I have to. This case is... Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. Mm. Aww. <sighs> Fine. But promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a good one, boss. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. All right, mummy. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Do you? About Date. Why? What is it? Well... I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Oh? Has he vanished? Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. What? And has been missing ever since. What? Date's body was never recovered from the scene. What? Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. Date has been missing since shortly after the end of the first game? I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace, spending his time in leisure. There is no chance that he would abandon Mizuki. There is absolutely no shot he'd abandon Mizuki. So, he's being held against his will somewhere or something like that. There's, there's no way. There's no way he just fucked off. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. She's my direct superior now. Hello, Inspector. Do you recognize the bo Ooh, hiccup, pardon me. Do you recognize the body? Of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. Oh, he was a big deal. He was like a Steve Jobs type. Any, there, There's no one in your generation who wouldn't recognize him. So, like, yeah. 
hugely well known Bill Gates kind of motherfucker. He was famous until he passed away. <laughs> passed away. Cut in half. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Bruh, she was a kid. Um, sorry, don't remember. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. I don't think there's any good way to say that. In a good way? Uh, by the way, what's with the mom? Abyss is a high-level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. Huh. Really? But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you? Do you want to get your ass kicked? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Now go get me a coffee. Uh, how's the investigation going? I've finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. What's your name? <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this, but you really want to know my name? Wait, is this the same guy from the first game? That we kept asking his name and then getting it wrong? <laughs> yeah. Then I'll tell you. But please don't forget it, okay? Got it. My name is Kagami. It is! That's his name, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the same guy. Hmm. Kagami, huh? Okay, I'll remember that. What's your name, mate? Mm-hmm. Here it comes. <laughs> I knew this would happen. <sighs> I'll say it one more time. My name is Kagami. I told you it's Kagami! I know his name already. I don't think I need to ask again. But I will. Aw, does this... His name was... What was it again? Wait, that changed. Uh, log. Uh... Hey, what's your name again? Huh? Give me a break. Okay, there we go. Cool. Uh, anything else? Police officer. Did you find anything? Oh, no. I just started investigating, really. About the body. Weird though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago. Yeah, motherfucker must have been on ice. Because, like, he looks normal still. You'd have decayed to shit in six years. But the body shows up now? Aren't you cold? <laughs> nah. The lining has eating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh. Very fancy. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. Caught from this jurisdiction. Bunch of officers. Uh, huh, regulation line, holographic boundary line. Where the spectators enter. What was that? Something just showed up around here. Lights. <laughs> the stadium lights. Incredible. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, oh, we can look at the evidence markers as well. An evidence marker. Sick. Corpse body and corpse face. Let's do the face That's first. Definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah. The same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divita. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Okay, and the body? X-ray that motherfucker. Wait, I will first get of all, the more shocking facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately what? nine hours ago. Okay, well that's impossible. Which means we're doing time travel. Is that possible? Could could this be a time travel game? And his body was cut in half, and one part was sent to six years ago, and one part was sent to now. Cause like. It wasn't nine hours ago, if we're talking linear time. What? Nine hours ago? It is currently nine o'clock, so that would mean he was killed around 12. Yeah, except he was killed six years ago. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Six years ago, I... Hold that thought. There's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. You hate to see it. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. What do you mean? Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Then what was it? 
Can pressurized water be so pressurized that it could slice you in half? As I said, I, I do guess. not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. There is hardly any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. Yeah, no shit. He was cut at the molecular level nine hours ago. X-ray! Would you like to check the corpse with X-ray mode? Yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. What? That makes no sense. You literally know that the right half of the body was not... It's not going to be there, because you already saw it. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. <laughs> hmm. In that case, how's this? Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. One nut. Six years ago, Jin Furway's body was discovered in Studio Devita. Yeah, I got that. And now, his left half was found here at the stadium. Yep, yep, I definitely got that bit too. <laughs> and yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today, which means that half his body was alive very recently. Which is obviously impossible, so his whole body was alive very recently, so time travel, question mark? What the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Hey! Iva? Hold on, did Iva just appear? She sure did. Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Oh, can you hear her too? Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. Uh, what if Jin has a twin brother? I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. What if the right half and left half belong to different people? I, of course, did consider it a possibility, but both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. Which will be a perfect match, I'm sure. What if the body was frozen? There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. That half body was definitely alive until just recently. If there's no preservation, then, like, yeah, it has to be some kind of time travel shit. That's the only answer, right? Because we know, like, it, it, they're saying that it is definitely the same person and is definitely not preserved. It was alive recently. Which, so that, that time travel's the only option, right? What if he was still alive with just the left half? Well, that's impossible. What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together? No, there are no traces of that. And, were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? Yeah, but like, maybe they're fine? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Me neither. But this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half-body case isn't over yet. Six years ago, I was 12. I obviously wasn't in Abyss then. I wasn't part of the investigation at all. I didn't know much about the case. I did see some of the investigation documents during my training. But the information there wasn't much better than the information on the internet, so I couldn't get the full picture. Hey, Iba. How much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. Oh? And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. Huh. I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Okay, well... We need to, uh... We need to talk to Ryuki then. Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, 
Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. Map and movement. Once you can move to a different area, the map will be displayed on the bottom of the screen. Use map to open the map and choose a destination. Golden Yokocho! Let's Golden Yoko go! Was that any good? Probably not. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Cool, cool. They certainly set up a very intriguing mystery. Exactly the same as the first game. They just hit you right out of the gate with like some really interesting shit. Flashback? Guess so. All right. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Did I just like accidentally do the right thing immediately? He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furway, 29 years old, the CEO of Music Food Co. Ltd. He's also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. Cool. By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? It's an enlarged picture of Jin's temporal region, near the back of his head. Man's been bopped. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Someone hit him from behind? Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. Okay. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. Oh, now that's interesting. The, the right half of the body, time of death 40 hours ago, but then six years later, the time of death for that half is nine hours ago? Today is February 10th, current time 2200 which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result, leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. It was on a molecular level. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. Thomas trivia. Um, so this is going to be a little hard to understand. Uh, so feel free to skip this if you'd like. Among scientific bonds, there is intramolecular bond, which uses electrons to bond, and the intermolecular bond... Wait, what? Oh, intra and inter, which is the bonding of the molecules themselves. Intra are stronger than inter, so when something is cut in half, it's usually the inter that's severed. However, this was severed at the intra. That's it for the science part. Please continue to enjoy the main story. Cool. Do you know the victim? Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Two Witter. Two Witter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He's insightful, inspiring in a way. How's the investigation of the body going? Well. What? 
You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body. So? So? Well, you... You could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. A anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. Hey, mate, what's your name? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I had a bad experience. I try not to tell people my name. And I'll tell you instead. His name is Kagami. Kagami? Huh. Huh? How did you know? What's your name? Why... Why does this keep happening? <laughs> my name cursed or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, man's going into his Joker oh, arc. All I can do is laugh now. I told you it's Kagami. Actually, you didn't tell me. I already know his name. I'm pretty sure I know the name. Uh, what was it? Um, I'm sorry. What was your name? Oh, come on. I'm sure you actually remember. Sure, Mimiga. I do. John? Was it? <laughs> Mimika. Ah, oh, my mistake. It's Mimigawa, isn't it? It's neither. No need to shout, Kagami. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> hey, mate. Any new intel? Please, don't rush me. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, best you can, shit, mate. Looks like he's just standing there to me. Yeah. Uh, about the body. Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe, but... How are you? It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! What? Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Uh, I repeat, what? Are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? I feel like you aren't exactly sound of mind right now. Hmm. Thomas Trivia. Ryuki can sometimes, oftentimes, get weird like this. He isn't doing well mentally. One of my jobs is to support him. Okay. Interesting. Fray to free? Fray can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like fight to set free. Hmm. Curious. What's with that QR code? The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. I'm sure if I scanned it, I could probably it would probably take me somewhere, but uh, I don't have my phone on me right now, so. Three spots for contestants. You're... Uh, we work in the same building and you don't know my name. Yeah, man, I work in the same building as a lot of people. Can't blame you, though. You're new. Metro PD, Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. Suck. Huh. I already know all about you. No need to say it. Kurito Ryuki, 23 years old. Due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades at an elite private university and graduated at 21. Very based. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boss. Bruh! I fucking wish, but no. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Alright, bro. You're projecting at this point. Yeah, boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. What are you talking about? Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love Oh my god, she's blushing. Much, <laughs> you don't have to explain it. I get it. Any leads? <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half body being found. Hell, maybe it's never going to be found. Yeah, I'll get back to you in six years. What if that body 
crossed over time and space to get here. All right, they're just saying it. Okay. It's possible, right? It feels like that is the outcome that we're leaning towards at the moment, but you never know. No. His name. His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Ujisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live-streamed quiz show? Uh, who is the man sitting next to you? Oh, you mean Chinpei. Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members until just recently. Was? He went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Do you know the victim? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. I don't know about that one. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Oh god, right. I forgot he's got a fucking thing for... Virus. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Moma. Hello, Iris. I know her name without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. Indeed. You read the reports. Okay, so we have a time frame. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. We're in February, and that was in November, so a few months. Mr. Dante was also on that case. Oh, by the way, this case and the new Cyclops serial killings are not related, though that is just a hunch. <laughs> are you okay? Does she look okay to you? No, not really. I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. Do you know the victim? Teleportation. What? That body teleported here from a parallel world. Maybe. But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was split in half. <sighs> Jeez. I mean, there was there was a lot about parallel worlds by the end of uh, by the end of the first game. But it was the one thing that we never really dug into, right? Like, even right at the end, you were learning. Date was learning stuff that he only found out in other timelines. Because obviously how the game, how the like game is laid out is you go down all these branching timelines and you, the player, get the information from all of them. But the characters are obviously only in the timeline that you are currently viewing. So you would think that they wouldn't be able to get the information from the other timelines. But by the end of the game, Date was getting information transferred to his mind from other versions of him that have that information. And it was never explained. They never delved into that at all. It was just something that you just had to accept was happening, was that these timelines were bleeding together in a way that was allowing him to know what was happening in them. And so I'm really hoping that they do dive into that in this game. And like, maybe? Maybe the reason that... Maybe the reason that he was alive isn't time travel. Maybe it's that he died in a parallel world and half of it was teleported here and then in another parallel world a different version of him died six years later and half of him got teleported here. Who knows? She's trembling. Mizuki. Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. I feel like this dude should have been in the first game. Where is Date? I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magura right now, pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. Hot? What are you doing? What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask, so... Do you know the victim? Of course. Jin Furue, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. Her name is Mizuki. She's a sixth grader. Alright. Big camera. Big tripod. Heavy door. Can't talk to you. Is this always just going to say the same thing? 
pretty much, pretty much. Okay. Uh, right. All oh, right, and Komeji. I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was Andy's Komeji, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. Of course. He's a comedian. I'd never heard of him before. He must not be very good. <laughs> oh, and I suppose you can do better, asshole. Wow, okay, bit rude. What do you know about comedians? Are you a comedian? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy. And here you are, just... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I've known Tama for more than half a year now, but I still have a hard time understanding what sets her off. <laughs> I had no idea that was a sensitive subject. Where am I? Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? His head is weirding me out so hard. Like, everyone else is, you know, normal proportions. And then this dude, like, is this not real? Am I supposed to look at this and go, this isn't actually real life, we're in a simulation? Or, like, I don't understand. <laughs> this is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. About that quiz show. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face, our special six-hour live stream marathon brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan, or even the world, tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. Uh, it's a live streaming service for PC and smartphone. The quiz show Faith to Face is one of the shows. Uh, it's a mildly popular show. Man, I really wish they're being questioned I could by the police fucking... in the waiting room. Scroll it. Uh, it's a mildly popular show with everyday people as contestants. I wish I could scroll it in some other way when you had the dialogue boxes up. Questioned by the police. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Sure am. Well, yes. Uh, high level investigation, police agency. Don't get along well with regular police. Have a hard time getting them to share info. Cool. Okay. Podium. Big monitor. Small monitor. Okay, I'm guessing that talking to boss is going to progress the story. I think that is probably a good point to wrap up for this first part. Extended first part, as I usually tend to do for new games, big part ones. That was a great introduction. I am absolutely in. I cannot wait to learn more to see where this story goes. I'm sure it's going to take us on a motherfucking journey and a half. And uh, yeah, very enjoyable. Hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you like what I do, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of new games as they come out, like this one, all that jazz. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time as we delve deeper into the half-body serial killings. Thanks for watching, see you then.